Labor candidate for Fadden has conceded to Sky News. She doesn't expect to win as the government downplays expectations of a second surprise by-election victory. Voters in the Gold Coast seat head to the polls in just four weeks' time and Peter Dutton is hoping for a stronger showing after his disastrous defeat in Aston. The starting gun has been fired in the race for Fadden, but Labor is already talking down its prospects at the polls. I'm in it for the race, um, but I don't expect to win. I'm going to be the one that they support to take up the fight. The Northern Gold Coast electorate has been held by retiring Liberal National MP Stuart Roberts since 2007 and with a 10.6% margin, it's considered a safe seat. It's been Liberal held for nearly 40 years straight and its voter base of retirees and young families will next month determine whether Fadden's blue ribbon reputation will continue. This is a by-election that is absolutely critical to sending a message to the Albanese government that they need to be doing better. The Albanese Labor government is already delivering for the Gold Coast. The retiring MP suffered a 3.5% swing to nurse educator and Labor's candidate Letitia Del Fabro at the 2022 election. And one year later, she's hoping to build on that momentum, including by capitalising on Stuart Roberts' rocky reputation tarnished by the RoboDebt Royal Commission. As a senior member of the government, I take absolute responsibility with, as part of Cabinet solidarity for this. This uh, electorate didn't deserve uh, a member like Stuart Robert. Tellingly, LNP candidate Cameron Caldwell is pointing to his party's track record and not that of his predecessor. This election is not about any one individual. It's about the people of Fadden. The Gold Coast City Councillor won't commit to campaigning alongside Stuart Robert either. I expect that I'll be joined by many people over the course of the campaign. The federal government is setting low expectations for Fadden as it's been held by Labor only once in its almost 50-year history. It's also not immune to current cost of living pressures being felt nationwide. Rate rises and everything jumping up, mortgages. My kids both rent and it's just criminal what the landlords are doing. Albanese said he had a plan for everybody. He hasn't put one plan in action, has he? Everything's gone up crazy. Peter Dutton needs a win in Fadden after his historic loss in the Melbourne seat of Aston. Nights like tonight are always difficult for all of us. Mary Doyle's victory was the first time a government has won an opposition-held electorate at a by-election in more than 100 years. And Letitia Del Fabro has sought her advice in the faint hope of making history herself. We just talked about the experience of running in a by-election because it's so different to a normal election with the compressed timeline. Fadden's 100,000 voters will head to the polls on July 15. Lucy Gray, Sky News on the Gold Coast.